Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this how to play video I'm going to take a look at a little bit of a different take on Shaman. This deck was actually in Blizzard's off-meta report recently. It's an aggro Shaman. So there's even Shaman, there's midrange Shaman, there's Shadow Rock Shaman, but this one, this one is all about aggression. So compared to all the other Shaman archetypes, there's no stuff like Hex. Hex puts taunts on the way, why would you want that? There's no Hagata. The curve ends at 5 mana with the Doom Hammer. There's a ton of 1 mana cards. And how do you win games with this one? First of all, you want to take early board control. Argent Squire, Firefly, good cards. Earth and White, great card. Buffs up your early minions, lets them take the board for you. And also, if you can get control off the board, and you get to a position where you can play your Unbound Elemental and your Thunderhead on the board, that's awesome news. Because then Unbound Elemental is going to grow every time you use Overload cards, Thunderhead is going to give you 1-1 one -one Rushers every time you use Overload cards. Thunderhead, some Overload spells like Zap and Lightning Bolt, and the 1-1 one -one tokens that are summoned from Thunderhead are actually your main way to push through taunts. You just get these tokens, maybe you can set up a flame dunk totem next to them, then you use some damage spells, and those tokens just kill stuff, and then your main minions, the elemental and thunderhead itself, they can go face. This deck also features the classic shaman damage combo of Doom Hammer and Rock Biter Weapon. So if you find yourself in a position where there are no taunts facing you, then Doom Hammer, Rock by the Weapon, that's 10 damage right there. So that's pretty sweet. But what I actually found was the most reliable finisher in this deck was Electro Storm Surge. Electro Storm Surge is huge deal. So you want to hold on to Electro when you find her, and then you want to wait until a moment where you have some direct damage spells from hand, and then you unleash Electra, some Lava Burst for example, and boom. I have dealt as much as 20 damage in a single turn from hand with this deck, so there are some interesting possibilities. Honorable mention, in this case also to the elementary reaction, draw a card, copy it if you played an elemental last turn, because okay, sometimes you just draw two copies of Firefly with that, and that kind of sucks. But there are those other times when you draw two copies of Lava Burst or two copies of Rock by the Weapon, and that card can really make a difference. Overall, if you're looking for something different to play as a Shaman, this is the most aggressive Shaman you can play. As an aggro deck, it can run out of juice. So if you're facing a bunch of Druids, then yeah, some of those Druids will just armor up and armor up and armor up, and you will not have enough reach. Same goes with Odd Warriors. But overall, this deck is able to take a surprisingly aggressive stance on the board, especially with the Thunderhead. And it's also able to finish up mini games where you would think that it's not going to be possible, but with the power of Electra and some direct damage spells, there's a ton of burst in this deck. As always, I've prepared a bunch of gameplay material of this deck for you, so let's go take a look at it in action. Do I need early minions to do that? I think I do. Seems a bit too risky. I mean, I, I love myself a Doomhammer. Doomhammer is fun, but... I think I need the minion for sure. I need to top deck the Doomhammer later. Ah, oh, this sucks. Oh, this was good. Yay! It didn't suck because I didn't have an answer to the cleric. I did. But I didn't want to play the zap before I played the unbound elemental. Interesting. Void face. Unbound. Alright. Let's try this. I don't want to zap yet. I think it will be fine to zap a bit later. Now this cannot be killed with death or anything. Not quite yet. Oh, 
I mean, he can, of course, have... He can, of course, have, like, a second Duskbreaker out there. Do I just overload myself? Yeah, I think we're just overloading here. This would still die to a second Duskbreaker. But right now it doesn't die to death or pain. Only a Duskbreaker. But it can die to death, obviously, later. Hi, hero. Alright, let's roll a healing totem. Well, that's not a healing totem, but punch him in the face with this anyway. So I take it that there was no Duskbreaker in hand. And he could have fetched... Ah, oh, he fetched a mass dispel. Oh, well, that's pretty strong too. Ooh. We can earth and might here. Murmuring Elemental. Hmm. Murmuring Elemental doesn't really have a strong use here. I don't think I'll just play it on the board. Let I'd rather keep him guessing a little bit than what I have here. No! I lost the Lightning Bolt. That's sad. But I pick up a Doomhammer. Would have been lethal if I didn't lose the Lightning Bolt. Ah. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh well. What can you do? I'm trying to push everything. We're pushing everything and see what happens. Does he even have weapon removal? Hero power alone is not enough to help him. Is he like eagle enough? It's not right. I can hit and hit and zap and zap and hit fair, yeah. This will be fine. Boom. And boom. And boom. <laughs> Pretty hilarious. Aggro Shaman. Actually winning a game against Priest. Sparks with Russia are not good enough. But Druid has always been like, it's been Mike Donacy's favorite class all the time, so it gets a bonus. I don't want to tow them up because I don't want to give him more minions to play a Spreading Plague against. So we're trying to give Unbound Element a little bit more of a chance here. Obviously he's at foreman and he also has the coin. But all he really wants to do is coin this nourish that he has in his hand. He doesn't want to kill the unborn elemental yet. See? Told you so. White crude nourish. This is silly. I don't think I'm buffing the unbound elemental yet. I'm just going with the Thunderhead for now. This is, of, of course, potentially weak against Spreading Plague, but I could also sacrifice away the Rush minions if he plays any minions of his own. Next turn, maybe we have enough mana to draw a card. I definitely have removal pieces here. That was pretty super. Oh, this indicates that he has ultimate infestation in hand. Yeah, that's an ultimate infestation in hand play. There's no other play. There's no other play like this. Okay. Let's draw a card first. Lava bursts are good. Then I'm going to buff this fellow up a little bit. And then... What if you is here? If I have six mana next turn... If I play Thunderhead... Zap, that's not quite enough. Six health survives the UI. Because it's UI that's coming. I think I can afford to play this. And hit face. I think this is correct. But it's too bad that UI is coming now. 
I mean, the only way that play kind of makes sense is with the UI coming. No UI coming. Well, that's interesting. So it's Thorn Druid. Can I kill Primordial Drake? Thunderhead and Dub Double Zap kills it. Yeah, of course I can kill it. Of course I can kill a Primordial Drake. Okay, so there's actually no... There's actually no Spreading Plague in this deck. Too bad I can't use the Cult Master to draw. But I think Double Zap is the play. Let's go with the Zaps. Let's double zap. And then I have enough minions to kill that off. Yeah, I do need to use these small minions because there could be another Primordial Drake coming. Do a Lightning Bolt phase. Then I'd, next turn I would have 4 mana. Now I think this is a moment where I told him up, because now I have determined that this deck probably doesn't run Spreading Plague. He already spent one Naturalized too. I want to keep this out of UI reach. Yeah, there's that. So I will need to... What do I need to do? I lightning bolt this, I get two one ones, but they come on both sides. So I could deal three, five. And I can deal five. This one can kill the dragon hatcher. I can also play elementary reaction. Let's play this. Mm, many fireflies is not that great. Then the lightning bolt here. And the flame tongue totem here. So I can deal three and five to that. And I can kill the dragon hatcher. Or do I just hit phase four? Thirteen. No, I think I kill the dragon hatcher at this point still. I think this is correct. I could have put him to a position where he would die. to double Lava Burst. I didn't. Was that a mistake? Maybe that was a mistake. Because now if he has more healing coming... Oh. Maybe I should have... I was just thinking that he was just branching paths out of reach. But of course he had the old card. He had the Dragon Hatcher and he had the old card. That pulls another Dragon Hatcher. Why wouldn't he have that? This one didn't start in my deck, so I could reduce the cost of this to 1. Even then I can only deal 15 next turn. That will not be good enough. Something like this. I'm completely relying on that he doesn't have enough healing that he could get oh, above 15 health. At this point I'm completely relying that he doesn't have a armor card in hand. Man. That luck is simply incredible. Now I need a lava burst top deck, right? And that's not even enough. Because I can do four lava bursts. I, I'm one man out from being able to do four lava bursts. One man out. I have to trust that he can't armor up next turn. He's at 19. If he goes to 20, I can still kill him. I have to trust that he can't get to 20. 
And that's going to be take exactly 10 mana, so I can't play the Lightning Bolt. I have trust that he can't kill me and he can't armor up this turn. If he finds an armor up card, he wins. Despite my best preparations. But that's not an armor up card. We made it. That is interesting. Yeah, te well, Tempo Mage is there because Tempo Mage can sometimes burn down druids. Tempo Mage has become a really significant part of the meta le lately. I was a little bit unsure about my keep. Maybe the Thunderhead wasn't good enough. I'm not actually sure if the burst is good enough because two damage is generally not enough to kill any of the Tempo Mage's minions. So maybe even the burst is not a good enough keep. So there was an alternative keep of just the Nimbus. Which I suppose would have been correct. Like I have to coin the Nimbus. This locks me from any place for a couple of turns maybe, but we'll see. Depends whether there's an answer. He's trying to figure out which man I want to play. Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, that Mana Vermin 1 is kind of a no-brainer. You typically want to play it. I don't have a play for next turn. Not good. I still think I need to do it. I need to kill the Mana Vermin. Yeah, I'm I'm not happy with this game at all. This this was just a bad game. And there was a second mana worm. Oh, this was a top deck mana worm. It wasn't really in his hand. Thunderhead Zap is four damage. I don't have six damage, no matter how you look at it. If he gets a count if he gets a secret up. That's really bad for me. I think I still have to try this. But if he gets a secret up, then I... If you roll a spell totem. Mm, yeah, then it would have been better. Has to be the Thunder Tap play. But I need to get rid of the Cosmic Anomaly. It's like really scary. I think I need to put some pressure on the Mana Worm too. Too bad I'm overloaded now, so I can't do Thunderhead Lightning Bolt next turn. Why would you save the mana addict and not the mana worm? <laughs> Who knows? I need to try to get Thunderhead Lightning Bolt play next turn. He hasn't had any secrets. That is the way to win this game. If he has a secret, I probably lose, but now I have a good read that there has not been any secrets. But now there was a secret. So which one is it? Runes? I mean it's runes entity or it's counter spell. I need to face tank this tree if I can. Because Rockbiter doesn't overload me. So it's counter spell then. Only two cards in hand still. Let's do this. I bet my money on runes and I just lost. 
Yeah, I, I was playing around all the possible options with the play I made. They typically run only one counter spell, but we'll see. Now we have this target that you kind of want to get rid of. You require my assistance. Hmm. Aha. Well, that's serious. Only one fireball so far, though. And I could do Thunderhead Lava Burst to exactly kill the Antonidas. Okay. This is all good. Too bad I don't have other cards with Overload. So that I could get more tokens to kill the Antonidas. Now, here's Fireball and here's a Glyph card. So, obviously, the Thunderhead is unfortunately going to die. But at least it kills the Antonidas. Now he just must whiff some draws. He can't draw Arcane Intellects or Aluneth. Unlikely to be a counter spell. We have already seen a couple of those. I still play around counter spell by lightning bolting his face. Let me draw some cards. He can still fireball ping this, but I think it's okay. I mean, I could obviously also earth and might here. To diversify my assets a bit. I think that's better, actually. Okay. What was that card you just played? Which card? The elementary reaction. Draw a card. Copy it if you played an elemental last turn. So he is of the opinion that he has enough burn to kill me. He might be right. Who knows about these things really? I can't play minions because I can't play minions because there can be there can be runes and runes might give him lethal. Six, seven, eight, nine. Right now this is exactly lethal. Creating two more of these isn't going to help with that. Okay, let's see. So, double fireball obviously kills me. That cliff cut, yeah. There are various things it can be. At this point, I'm just re equipping Doom Hammers to make more minions. The real question is, do I tap my own Thunderhead or one of these? 4 plus 2. It's correct to tap one of those. This is correct. This plays around him removing two minions. Let's say it's like Frostbolt. No, he feels Frostbolt. He Frostbolt's my face, but... This place around him being able to remove exactly two minions from this board. One of them being the Thunderhead. How about a Totem? Mm, I was considering that, but I figured it would not be strong enough. I try to keep dirt and might. I will draw an elemental. And I will buff the elemental. Do I want to coin the elemental? Yeah, let's do that. 
Just trying to get damage in as quickly as possible. And we go with this line of play so far. Yeah, we're not. Another tree with the twig on curve. That's cool. That's certain white here. Play a firefly. Try to push, try to push. I'll try with the water elemental next turn because then I might be able to stop the twig. He spent a naturalize here too. That's solid. I want to try to stop the twig. Let's see if he can keep his twig up. Moment of truth. Can he keep the twig rolling? Or is he going to be frozen? I guess he's looking for branching paths. You gotta keep your twig up. So whether he hits face or this one here is pretty good indication of whether he has branching paths. I mean, the spreading plague. But he could find a spell stone. I don't really like the light spawn. I think I like the Thunderhead better. Because it doesn't look like he has Spreading Plague. If he had Spreading Plague, why would he kill the... Why would he kill the 1-1? One, one? Okay, he gets to free himself for next turn. I have 10 from hand with the Electra. Not quite there. I don't even have any overload stuff. That is such a problem. I really needed to get some overload stuff. I guess I have to just try with this line. Get another 5 to face. There's no way this is a lethal setup. Once again. Regardless of what he has, this is never a lethal setup. And next turn he will have 20 mana. Did he find some damage spells? We've seen one naturalized, one spell stone, one rat and one star fall. So he did find something. Even if it's just a wound fire, he did find something. So Electra and Lava Burst is 10, 13, 18. We got it. Lightning can strike twice. Boom. <sighs> Druid number six. The other element have plus two attack, but this comes too late to matter. This is now Nimbus into reaction into unbound play. Now we draw the double card. Next turn is the unbound. He has a good setup for swipe though. I still think I have to do it. Have, if he swipes this then I play double Nimbus next turn. Look, it's another druid with the 
tweak on curve. Every druid has tweak on curve. I don't have any good overload stuff here. Not good enough anyway. Tempest isn't bad. Flame Tank Totem isn't strong enough. Need to Nimbus again. Not enough tempo. Not enough tempo. Yeah, I played around swipe with the move I made. Tried to ensure that I will have some damage on the board, even in case of a swipe. Five mana four four. Not great. I don't think I need to play it here. Oh, that ferocious howl. So sweet. Can I get enough damage through? Well, the third and white is really good here. Time to hit 8 to face. I believe so. We need to go. We need to go fast. I couldn't set up a good flame tank totem board. I never had a chance to attack with multiple minions with the flame tank. I'll do what I can. And push the date to face. At least it, it will force him to find some armor at some point. Well, I like that branching pads. That's pretty solid. Look, the druid just healed for 12. 12. For 4 mana. That's pretty solid. So he's at 24, even though I don't even know how much damage I've done. I think I've done a ton of damage in this game. Well, he has healed for like 20. A bit more than 20 so far. Yeah, seven, 6 turns and Druid has healed for 20, 20 damage already. While removing everything I have on the board. And having 20 mana available for him next turn. Yeah, this one I couldn't do. This time I couldn't make it. This is the best I can do. No, he has lethal. No lethal? Quadrant Elemental isn't strong enough. I need to flame tongue totem and zap, right? I think I do. But anytime he finds some damage, he's all good to go. Let's see what the mage spell is that I can find. Well, that's an interesting mage spell. I'm almost guaranteed dead if Alex tries to connect to face, though. I can't let that happen. I have to kill the Alex. I think I have to double Lava Burst this turn. Get some preparations going for a later Pyroblast. I'm probably just dead, but this is still what I need to do. Because if he has a really weak turn here, then if I can do something and then get to the Pyroblast, That would be a thing. So I'm playing to my outs. He's looking for a way to deal 15 damage with 20 mana. Not an impossible task. But it does require the Maligos. Oh, he has ultimate infestation in hand. That, that's why he played his hand, so that he could get the ultimate infestation going. 
And then he can probably find a swipe and have lethal. Well, full tag burst and lightning bolt, I can kill this. At this point, he has spreading plague in hand. So, how much has he even healed? He has healed like 40 in this game. He has healed around 40 in this game already, and he's at 20. So I have been able to deal 50 damage, but that isn't enough. Yeah, I don't think I can beat this. It seems extremely unlikely. Even if I silence the Maligos swipe is lethal. Can I find a polymorph? No, but I can kill Maligos. That's three mana kill Maligos. Can't equip Doomhammer. So we kill the Maligos. I mean, I'm still dead <sighs> to Floop, for example. Well, I played... I played my heart out. I think I might try with this. Let's see if we can get something done. Well, priest. What kind of priest? That craze about the... That craze about the OTK villain priest kind of went. Sweet hair, bro. Really? I probably should get a haircut. I admit. Let's play this. Pain obviously answers this. It is the good old bad priest deck. Okay. I need to try to rush him a little bit here, I guess. Let's get some stuff on the board. I mean, he has spirit lashes and... Uh, he has Pyromancers and... No, he doesn't have Pyromancers. He has Spirit Lash and Talos and stuff. Let me go OTK Priest. Yeah, it seems to be. I mean, OTK Priest is pretty bad, so people are not playing it right now. But for some reason, he is playing it. But for some reason. Let's buff this fellow up, right? Line's good. Do I want to get this to 4 attack? Yeah, I do. But it makes me weaker to Spirit Lash. So there are downsides. But I don't think in this matchup that I can wait for very long. He could double coin Psychic Scream too if he likes. That's possible. It would be pretty strong, actually. I would probably do a double coin Psychic Scream if I was him. Because this was really weak. Nine damage. Thirteen damage. I see I have more spirit lashes available. Do I roll a totem? I might not even roll a totem. This seems fine. Now we could do just one coin. If that's something that he fancies. He could also play like... Zilliax to kill the flame dunk totem and heal up. That would be actually really strong right now given my hand. 
Why would you pick pain from visions? When you already saw what you were playing against. I can't find any damage. I could have zapped earlier to make this bigger, but I didn't want to make it vulnerable to pain. Vulnerable to death. Okay, come on. Do damage elemental. Not a 2 damage elemental, but not a bad elemental either. I guess this is fine. But man, just can't find any. But now that I have an extra Electra, if I can top deck damage spell, it will be fine. Well, on the other hand, he can also have a hand like this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.